CO2 underperforms again. This is a climate craze update on the performance of carbon dioxide. During March of 2022, NOAA made a one-month forecast for the month of April. Red indicates above average forecast temperatures, and blue indicates below average temperatures. NOAA obviously made a forecast for an overall warmer April. Here is the verification or observed temperature data for April. This map clearly shows that overall, April was definitely cooler than average. And here we see both maps together. They are available to the general public on NOAA's National Weather Service website. This website provides access to the Climate Prediction Center's forecast maps and verification archives. This is the fourth month in a row they got it wrong. So why do you think the forecast was for a warmer April, but instead reality dealt a cooler April? Probably because for the past 30 years, all of the climate models have always been way too hot. This red line is the average of all the forecast models, which shows skyrocketing temperature forecasts. That is the CO2 fantasy forecast. Those blue and green lines are the observed weather balloon and satellite temperature data. That is reality. Even as CO2 concentrations continue to skyrocket upwards, the global temperature record shows a six-year temperature pause and even a slight decline. Huh, imagine that. Ever wonder why you never hear claims about global warming anymore? So while the IPCC folks continued their nonsensical hatred for carbon dioxide, which is also the fabric of all life on Earth, the rest of us know that the sun controls Earth's climate. And equally important is knowing that CO2 is plant food. In the meantime, since we are still in a carbon dioxide famine, and since carbon dioxide is plant food, more is better.